Florida. Morning. So, oof, should we check where we are? Glenariff Forest. Something like that, yeah. Uh, basically, we're going for a walk to see some waterfalls. So that should be interesting. Love a waterfall. Yeah. So we didn't really sign off last night. Uh, somebody was a little bit sleepy. Still am sleepy. Mm, boy. Struggling, weren't you, boy? I've hit my wall. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, it was a heavy day yesterday walking, so we literally... Yeah, because someone wanted to go and see puffins. I saw puffins, I saw loads of puffins, it was good. Um, yeah, so we literally stopped at Tor Head, had a quick look there, and then we uh, went to our B&B and... Um, Crash, pizza. Had pizza and crashed out. Yeah, didn't even do a room tour. Oh, and oh, you're missing out, guys. <laughs> we'll, it, uh, it was wallpaper gold in that place. We'll, we'll find some pictures on. It was lovely. We'll find some pictures online just to put in. But yeah, it was uh, quite old-fashioned, shall we say? But it was lovely, and the people there were really nice and welcoming. So, so that was good. But we'll put links for all that down below and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'll have to find some waterfalls hopefully and grab some nice shots. Let's go. Let's go. set of stairs and last hill up. Oh. Can hear the uh, can hear the cafe calling me though. The dolphins are gonna be interesting. Oh. Like. Yeah, that should be fun. Let's go. So back on Wednesday we burnt heavily. This is the state of affairs right now. It's not going to be 1,000 steps, that's it. Done. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> so, really scared? Is it recording already? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Gotta get that little bit of panic, that bit of mild panic you had there. Guys, like, why? Do we wait till the last day to do this? Over. 1,000 steps. Oh, yeah. Just to put it into perspective, the steps we walked up. In the calls, like 162. <laughs> Step on down there. It's a lot of steps. It is a lot. How many have an ice cream after? Yeah. Yes. Definitely, as does the only place open. Definitely buy a box of five. 
<laughs> Boxer Boxer Bombs. I, I'm scared. I, I'm scared. Are you scared? No. Are you scared for me? Yeah. <laughs> scared of what kind of uh, state you're going to be in afterwards. I'm going to be puffing. Mighty puffins. There's a big puffin over there, look. Ooh, I Apparently they're out. Yeah, what else they? does and it say? As well. it takes, apparently it takes three hours to walk and to do a thousand steps. Oh, uneven and unequal size steps at that, not just normal steps. Sounds good. Steep inclines of 1.4 grade. What does that even mean? Fuck knows. Right. Let's go, I guess. <laughs> She's so excited. Woo! <laughs> Genius, I think. length every year this country shifts northeast okay so we're moving northeast 75 million years ago if you had looked at the map Ireland is in the same Ireland would have been in the same place as the south of France is today uh -huh. okay some people wish we would have stayed there <laughs> but we are moving guys we are moving at a thumbnails length every year as I say 450 million years ago and I understand it's a long long time Ireland was actually south of the equator. You know that? Yeah. Yep. This is true. He's looking at me as if I've lost the plot here. <laughs> yeah, we're actually on the move, guys. Thumbnail every year, northeast. So it's going to get colder and wetter and darker. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So we finished our tour of the Gobbins, which is very good. Really um, good. Yeah, really good. Uh, 
bit of a surprise really i mean a lot of the information they give you beforehand is quite sort of daunting so it sort of says i was dreading it yeah i really wanted to go but i was just dreading especially when they give you the leaflet and they say it's a thousand steps yeah it says like it's Ooh. a thousand steps it probably is yeah. But it's not like all together. No, it's it's very spread out. It's very manageable. The hardest bit really is at the, going at the end. is the end because you you know you walk a, a path down to the, top, to the yeah. coastline um, or to the shoreline pretty much. Uh, so you're walking right back up the cliff. You have to walk back up it at the end the end of it. So. It's not the hardest thing we've done this week. No, Kindling Castle was definitely the hardest thing yeah, I've I done. I think a lot of the walks we've done have been harder yeah. this week. Um, the the waterfalls. I'd say it was just as hard. Yeah. Um, if not I was harder, a bit disappointed really. that the sea is so calm because apparently if it's wet and windy, mm. they still walk and the sea hits you in the face. <laughs> That's what I want. So I'll have to come back yeah, to the garbage. We were quite, yeah, we've, we've already sort of talked about coming back. We'd like to come in. Are you like wet and wild or wet and windy or something? Um, so we're starting them in January from next year. Yeah, so, so. that sounds really good. Um, and they're thinking about doing ones at night as well, like nocturnal ones. So you have it was really torch, good. So that'd be really cool as well. Um, Definitely on my top ten of Northern Ireland, top mm. five. Easily, Definitely. yeah, it was very good. Our tour, it helped as well. Our tour guide, um, Gerald, <laughs> was a legend. Was very good. He had amazing sense of humour. All um, all aboard the banter bus. Yeah. But he was very good, yeah, and no, the, the, the toe was very good. So the issue of shoes, uh, again, it's as long fine. as you've got sort of sturdy footwear, like, like grippy footwear. Yeah, they're gonna have quite a lot of tread. They were yeah, like sort of good tread. They that's fine. Because it was uneven. Um, it was uneven. It was. Ha I'd yeah. say be, if you're not used to walking on mm. that kind of surface, you would struggle. I think. Because some of it was kind of rock that was very uneven, and if you, I can see why they want ankle support because it would be easy mm. to to like to twist your ankle on there. I can, but I think equally, if you're used to walking and you've got just a good pair of walking yeah. shoes, should be fine. You'll be fine. You don't need any sort of spectacular. The best bit was you have like they had like these massive containers throughout the walk in case you get stuck, so you don't die. So, you know, they got blankets, I suppose, and like lights. And so he just basically gave everybody the stash of Mars bars. So if we got stuck, we would have died because we'd all <laughs> eaten the Mars bars. But even funnier was he was looking for water and there wasn't any water in the boxes. So I don't know how, apparently everyone survives off Mars bars, mm. <laughs> but that was funny. It's just the stash, was good. isn't it? I think for the tourists probably. Uh, uh, this was also another thing that we, emailed about yeah so when we got so yeah before we came to northern ireland we uh contacted the gobbins and they were nice enough to provide us with complimentary tickets today thanks um, guys yeah so thank you for that there's a big push from any staff we sort of spoke to there they wanted to get the word out they wanted to be able to say again it, it's been renovated in the last three years um to look like it is today and they, they it sounds as though the council is looking to pump more money into it uh, to change the routes and do yeah. alternate routes and things, so that sounds really that good. good. Um, but yeah, thank you for giving those tickets, and it was um, it was a really good day. Yeah, really enjoyed. Um, important question. I've done that for a while. Important question. Yeah, we keep forgetting important question. Yeah, definitely been a really good day. Um, I'd say the gardens is well worth. Oh yeah. A visit. I think usually it's fifteen. Fifteen pounds, round a person. And it's a good three hours. I would pay you are, you are, fifteen pounds yeah, next time. Yeah, you are down there for three hours. Yeah. It is the full three hours. It's good. It's really informative. The centre at the top as well. There was a nice cafe and uh, lots more information on what's good. I think the history of the Garbins as well. The you will never get a tour that's the same. So if we did it again mm. tomorrow at the same time. It'll be completely different. Yeah, so it's, it's really yeah, misty it's, today. It's so you didn't see around, a lot. Yeah, it's moulded around the weather, isn't it? What sort of animals are there? Because he said yeah. sometimes you'll see seals. seals. You've seen dolphins. Uh, we saw some puffins again today, which is great. Yeah, uh, lots of seabirds and things. So you know, it, and it could be different each time. It was very calm today. If you went on a rough day, I'd imagine it'd be a completely different atmosphere. I'd love you'd, to go on a rough day. Um, you know, you'd have a, such a different experience. And I guess when it's rough and windy and wet. That's probably where your sturdy footwear comes in even, even more. Even more, yeah. Because I yeah, can imagine some true. of the rocks to be quite slippery. Yeah, I mean, we've been lucky. It was bone dry down there yeah. today and there was no wind at all. So it was really Definitely easy to worth walk. it. 
Um, yeah, but important question. Yeah, that's yes. absolutely, definitely worth the visit.